Hello. Have you ever been really disappointed when something did not happen the way you thought it was supposed to happen? <laughs> well, you know, that is really all about having experienced some disappointments lately. That is really about you. It's not about anybody else. Remember, and I know I have to remind myself, you are the creator of your life. So your expectations, someone told me once years and years ago, expectations breed disappointment and frustration because you expect things to happen in a certain way and nobody else knows those expectations or you don't communicate them or you just assume that the world can read your mind so therefore when they don't happen then you become disappointed and disillusioned when ultimately and this may be tough for you to hear I know it is for me every time I remind myself of this but ultimately that disillusionment is with yourself yes it is with the energy that is connecting with you you have expectations be they reasonable or unreasonable it doesn't matter your cells think that the world already knows those expectations especially if you think okay I'm going to talk about this and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that your cells hear that conversation you've had with yourself no one else will be in the room with you but your cells think that that's already happened so therefore you become disappointed when it doesn't happen the way you expected it to happen. So how do you deal with that? How do you look at it? How do you acknowledge that? <laughs> I don't have a clue. <laughs> no. uh, um, I, think, I think you really get the opportunity to look into yourself and see what part of this do you play in the disappointment? <laughs> and keep in mind that every time you say, well, I'm disappointed because this person didn't do that and that person didn't do that and this person didn't do this, blah, blah, blah. That keeps you in the victim mode. Remember, no one else is responsible for how you are feeling. You understand that? No one else is responsible for how you are feeling. You are the only one that is creating that responsibility. And as you do, as you are, as you experience it, be gentle with yourself. Be kind to yourself. And realize that this world is changing. Every moment, every frequency, if you work in a job, even your job is changing. If you have a boss, even your boss is changing because you are changing. So if you have that feeling of being disappointed, I encourage you to take a deep breath which brings you present, we all know that, and then ask yourself, well, what exactly is it that you're disappointed with? And what is your part of that creation? And remember, every time you say, well, turn that finger back to yourself. <sighs> That's your message for this week. <laughs> Namaste, y'all. Namaste.